Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in this video, we're going to continue looking at our funnels and we're going to go into our brand new success path workspace and we're going to set up a brand new funnel in here. So let's come over here to funnels after we clicked into our sites and funnels. And then we're going to create a new funnel and we can create one using a recipe. You saw that in the last video, or we can just click here and say, create a funnel. So we're going to come in here we are going to call this our success path. Oops. Success path funnel is what we will call that. And we will leave that on there. In fact, what we can do is let's call this success path funnel dash loading. So we can do the same trick that we did in the last video and then clean this up and have the path only be success path funnel when we are done. And so now we are going to create this funnel and the URL says it's been taken, but I really doubt if it has been. Yeah, it should be fine. Success path funnel loading right there. And now we can put in a add your first step by clicking here. So we will just click there and we will say we want to do a page because I don't think you want to do a split path ever as coming into the funnel. And maybe I guess you could. Um, but well, I'm not, I'm not sure about the split path there. Uh, but so here we're going to do this. Let's just say we want to have just a simple opt in funnel. But again, you can have any one of these page types or template types more accurately over here. So let's just say we want to choose this one right here. And then we're going to say, um, what did we call this here? We had this success path funnel is our very first page. And I want that to be reflected down here, but I'm going to leave that for now. And we're going to say success path funnel. And of course we can do a page description and it is the first page of our funnel. So we want it indexed and now let's create our page. Now what I'm curious about here is as we come back in and we go to the page settings, what did it give us here? So it gave us success path funnel page right there on our, okay, wait, this was our page settings. What I wanted to go to is our step settings. That's what we want to see. And yes, good. It did just give us our success path funnel because this one up here, we put the loading on the end. So when somebody comes to this site, this is what they're going to see as the path. So it's a nice clean path that we wanted to see on here. And again, we'll go back over here to page settings and in here we can set up the same stuff we just set up as we were creating this and put in our sharing image and our style guide and all that kind of fun stuff. And again, as you saw in the last video, we can add a product in here if we want, but I don't have any products. So if I wanted to put in a product, I could click on, okay, give me a new product. And then we can go through the whole product creation here. But again, that is for a different video. But the cool part here is that I don't have to leave this page in order to go out and create another product. It's all done right here. And that's one of the couple of the cool things that they've really done with uh, 2.0 is a lot of the stuff, whether you're working on your, your page style or products, or even, even the thing with the sidebar over here is you pretty much stay working right here in the editor the whole time. You don't have to keep bouncing out to all different places. And now let's see, what do I got to do to get out of here? Okay, I had to reload the page to get out of there. So another little glitch we found. And again, you saw on the last one here, if we want to create a new funnel step, we just click here. We click on page again. And so after our opt-in, we want to go to a thank you page. So we'll just choose this one right here. And we will give it a name, of course. And um, SEO metadata, all that kind of stuff. We would not want the search engines to see this. And then we will create that page as well. And as we saw before, we can move these around just simply by going like this. And we'll move it back down again when the big box appears. That's when you drop it right there. And again, we can attach workflows, but that will be for another video. And then what else do we have in here? Like I said, we got products, split testing we can do from here. And that's about it. Up here again, we are currently in test mode. We can turn off the test mode if we want right there. 
We can choose the domain that we want to have this on. And again, we can change the name of the page of the or name of the overall funnel. That's what this is here because it had the path of loading at the end. So I don't need to save any of those changes. And again, if we want to, we can, let me see here, let's go into the page itself. And then again, the cool thing is you can go from one page to the next simply by clicking on the left sidebar over here where you can see all the pages within your funnel. So I think that is it without getting into the editor itself because we already put in all kinds of content here. We can, um, I think that's it. But let me try one more thing here is can we, I think we can, um, once this loads up, Okay, so the question is, can we put in a completely blank page? And yes, we can. So we don't have to use any of these templates at all. We can just say we want to have a new page, and we're just going to call this one here new page, just for simplicity's sake. We don't want it indexed. We, of course, would put in, well, actually, if you don't want it indexed, you don't really need to put in the description. You would not put in an image, but you would still want to put in the title at the top. So let me just show you that. So in our page settings, we would always want to put in our page title because we'll just put that there because that's always what's going to show up here in the tab. And you always want something in that tab to let people know where they are at. And now let's go into this page because this page should be completely blank. Of course, you can set everything up as always, but now we come into our page. Now our page is completely blank and now we can just start building by putting in any elements that we want right in here. And as you see, it is so simple to just click, 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 and you just start building your page as fast as possible. But again, if you have no experience building the page, go into the supplemental training and we'll be walking through a lot of things on how to build it in there. But also don't be afraid to just jump in here and start building because you really can't mess anything up. If you put in a bunch of garbage, you just come over here, you click delete, and all the garbage is gone. So that is it for this video. If you have any questions, just let me know.